Okay, what's going on, everybody? My name is Mang. And today, we're playing Nowhere Profit, which uh, is a title. It's, it's certainly a title. I don't know anything about this game. Uh, it just came out today. And, uh, meaning, I... I assume it probably just came out of early access today, but you never know. Maybe it was an actual release. I don't know. Um, but let me turn down the sound. I'm sure it's very loud. Okay. Um, I just learned about it today, so that's, that's what matters. Uh, <laughs> and I guess... It's like a single-player, grid-based card game. Um, sort of like Duelist, I guess? Esque? I think Duelist-esque? So... I don't know, I had a bunch of positive reviews. Maybe they're all shills, I don't know. But I needed uh, a game to sort of make a video about to fill in some gaps here before the you know the real video game releases come out but <laughs> who knows it could be a lot of fun so let's let's just give it a try uh dangerous road you're about to set out on a dangerous journey across a hostile planet soma is filled with greedy people and raging beasts it's unlikely that you'll reach your goal right away be prepared to lead multiple caravans across the waste okay so it's like a road roguelike maybe or this world is broken it's definitely post-apocalyptic no doubt about that only the strong and the ruthless prevail in this land of ruins hope is for the naive and the weak until i heard its call from the night sky the falling star spoke of power and forgotten knowledge. It told me where it would land long before it smashed into Soma. Its voice was weak and fragmented, but it carried the promise of a way out, a path to change, and it gave me a purpose. It took me weeks to cross through Soma's wilderness. Then its impact shook the heavens, hissing with heat sand around it had turned into glass. Then it spoke of the crypt for the last time. I had spoken to machines before, but none had been this powerful, this keen, yet it was dying. In blue light it painted a mandala into the dusty air. With this fractal symbol it showed me glimpses of ancient knowledge from before the crash. Etched in hard light, it told me how to find and open the crypt, this place of legend. Then the fallen star spoke to me. You help power, safety, and knowledge in the crypt. You lead them. As the machine died and its light slowly subsided, I could hear words of prayer and mantras all around me. Others must have seen the trail of fire, heard the star's whispers, and followed it here too. Their eager faces told me that they had heard the machines speak to me. The prophet, the prophet, they chanted. And so my followers had found me, and together we would find the crypt. Namaste, my prophet. Let me be your humble guide on this journey. I will tell you everything I know to help you make this pilgrimage a successful one. Start our journey to the crypt by opening the map. Well, that's a good start. This is your map. Here you can pick the next destination on our way to the crypt. Simply move the map and select a spot to learn more about it. Traveling costs us food and hope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what it costs when I travel. I know that, so. Make note of the difficult terrain, which is visible by the colored roads on the map. Fights here will have more hazards, but can also lead to better rewards. To get closer to the crypt, we need to reach the large milestone location in the upper right corner of the map. Okay. There it is. Um, I feel like most of the roads are colored. 
Um, I don't know. I guess we'll. This is a swamp. They're both swamps. Okay. The sun was setting as we noticed a dark plume of smoke not far away. Sneaking closer, we saw a band of raiders celebrating their victory over a small roaming caravan of a size not unlike ours. We spotted two sets of clan sigils, two separate raider groups. They were currently busy splitting up the loot, batteries, valuables, and slaves. What should we do, Prophet? We can't sneak past them, said Haimati. We can take out their leaders, we could free the slaves, or we could seize the loot. Why wouldn't we do all three of those things? Which I guess would start with taking out their leaders. We spotted the two leaders and their guards near the back, sharing a hookah and congratulating themselves on a job well done. With our weapons prepped, we sprang from our hiding place and into battle. A fight to defend our convoy. In battle, you need to play your cards to survive. Cards cost energy, which is refilled and increased by one at the start of each of your turns. Revolutionary. Many of your cards are followers, which when played join the fight on your side, but be careful they may fall in battle. You also have access to your leader cards on the right hand side. These are your abilities and they are vital to gain an immediate advantage in combat. To win you have to attack to reduce the enemy leader to zero health while avoiding that same fate. Be aware that any damage you take remains even after combat. Ooh. Okay. Um. I accidentally right clicked instead of left clicking, so I don't know if I like closed out of all the tips, but okay. So uh, this is not uh, unfamiliar concepts, obviously. We have a three cost, one attack, six health, uh, with a battle cry, which they're calling Fury. Heal all friendly followers by three. That's pretty good, uh, but. We're going to go with this two cost, three, two. And we can put them anywhere on our three by three grid. Get them in there. Ah, proud warrior. Followers enter combat exhausted and can't act immediately. Starting with your next turn, this follower will refresh and be ready to attack or move. You can see that your follower has two sets of numbers, their attack on the left, their health on the right. Once the follower's health reaches zero, they are destroyed. When fighting, your follower's positions are critical. Only the first unit in each row can attack and be attacked. It is in frontline position and marked with three spikes. Ah, huh, okay. All right, so we have one energy left. Draw a convoy card or deal one damage to all units and leaders. Well, I think we'll draw a card and end our turn. Now we're ready to fight. Your warrior is ready. See the yellow triangle symbolizing that. To attack, simply drag one of your followers onto an enemy unit. Beware, enemy units will deal damage to your follower in retaliation. You can also always attack the enemy leader directly. Doing this, your unit does not suffer any retaliation damage. You can also drag your follower onto an empty tile on your side to move. However, each follower can only take one action before being exhausted. Okay. Hmm. 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 Now. Hmm. Ye. Hmm. Uh. I guess we'll uh do that, and then we'll play the taunt, and then we'll buff it so it doesn't die to the three two. And that's how the game is played. All right, and with that, I think we have lethal. Uh, deal two damage to all its neighbor tiles. Okay, so that's bad, but it is a seven five for five costs. So stat wise, it's awesome. It's just got this downside. Hmm. Okay, I mean, I'm just go for lethal. Victory, my prophet. One of our own has just received a blessing. The follower that deals the killing blow in a fight will be blessed. A blessed follower immediately heals their wounds and gains 
plus one attack while blessed. Why wouldn't they just say plus one attack? I don't know. But beware, if that follower gets wounded, they will lose this blessing again. Okay, and I got fruits and fine fabrics. Luxury items can be shared with the convoy to restore hope and to gain a status effect for the next battle. Okay. And this is just food. With their leaders scattered dead across the sand, we had demonstrated our might. The remaining bandits lowered their weapons, hoping for mercy. As we freed the slaves, one by the name of Parul called for the bandits to be killed. Other, more pious souls asked us to show forgiveness. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. 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 Okay. It'll be nice. As you take decisions, your convoy will increase or weaken their belief in a certain mindset. Believer, scholar, or altruist. With high enough scores in one of these mindsets, you'll have access to unique options in the situations you encounter. We were always going to be in need of strong and capable hands, even if they had done terrible deeds. We will forgive your crimes, but you must repent and bow your heads to join us. Many ran off into the night, but some accepted our might, sinking down on their knees to beg for mercy. Okay, so we got two new cards. Hmm. All right, nice. I mean, a four cost four five, that's like the gold standard, right? Good work, my prophet. Our people are safe again. However, some of your followers may have suffered wounds. The overview at the bottom shows you how many. You may also want to take this time to check your decks. Simply select on one of the cards at the bottom of the screen to inspect and edit your convoy deck or leader deck. Okay. Here you can find your battle-ready followers. On the right in the list, you can see your current convoy deck. On the left, visible as cards are all followers that are not currently in use. Settings at the bottom will help you filter these as needed. Click on a card to either add or remove it from your deck. Note that you can bring up to 30 followers into battle. Some of your followers have been blessed. You can see this in the lotus icon on the card and the yellow bar on the right. Ah, I see. So, the interesting thing here then, well, one of the main interesting things, you have two separate decks. This is where you can learn more about yourself. See the cards you bring to battle and the equipment you're using. Unfortunately, you currently have neither enough experience to level up, nor any equipment to use. So come back later to improve your leader deck. So you level up, you get equipment. That's pretty wild. Let's continue to another swamp. Our, 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 our outriders reported a situation ahead, so we took a larger force to investigate. What we came across looked like a siege on a small farmhouse. Damn those cannibals in there. They ate our friends. We'll split anything we find if you help us take out those demons, spat their leader, a grim redhead with an improvised projectile thrower. Uh, yeah, we'll help him, huh? Okay, the best way would be that you start an unexpected assault with some of my guys, while the rest of us go around the back, their leader ordered. We spread out in attack formation and approach the hut. Another fight. Ready yourself for battle. You can select... On one of the cards to adjust your convoy or leader deck before we face our enemy. Or if you're ready, just jump into the fray. I think we're ready. He's got six health. Uh, in combat, you have access to your two decks. Your convoy deck on the left, your leader deck on the right. You draw one card of each at the start of your turn, and you can have up to six convoy cards and up to four leader cards in your hand. If you need to draw a card but your hand is full, nothing happens. But if you draw when your deck is empty, you take two damage. Ah. And here's the mulligan. Well, we definitely want to get mulligan some of this shit. Um, mulligan that. Mulligan that. That's better. Okay. So, we have obstacles on the field. Neutral objects, they can be inert, hazardous, or even beneficial. Uh, these are just nothing, nothing. That's an 8 health tree. We have on our side an acid plant. 
So when it dies, it deals two damage to all targets in this column, which I assume is this vertical column, uh, which sucks. And this attacker's convoy gains believer points. Damn. So, yeah, I'm at a disadvantage because I got this shit going on. Um, all right, let's throw down a raider. And or you can discard target card in your hand and draw a new one from the same deck. Okay, so that's like duelist. Okay. Well, that was pretty handy. They're challenging us. That new enemy unit has taunt. This keyword changes what and how you can attack. As long as a unit with taunt is also in the front line, then they become the only available target. No other units nor the leader can be attacked by your followers until all taunt units on that side have been destroyed. Well, it's only a one, two taunt. Not gonna be that big of a problem. Neo. So this guy is like waiting to become the taunt because once we kill this, he becomes the front line for this rogue. Okay, I don't think this is a uh, rocket science. Um, yeah, I mean, only the person in the front of each row can attack. So, you know, you can only have so many attackers at the same time. Ah, uh, stealth. Oh, I'm sure they'll explain oh they didn't explain what stealth is okay unit can't be attacked by enemy units and can attack all enemy units regardless of position last until this unit takes damage okay so that changes that which is pretty nice but uh i think it just means i can kill you so i don't know if that was really beneficial for you we got plant fibers valuables can be sold for batteries wherever there's a shop When we had killed the last of the defenders, we moved into the hut. The dead inside looked suspiciously like the bandits that had surrounded the hut in the first place. Your deeds will not be forgotten, the leader announced. Here's something for your trouble. Okay. I lost five hope. But I got some batteries. Okay, this is a village with an active market, or we can go to this camp. I don't know if one, like, cuts out the other. Let's see. Our outriders reported a small group of hunting raiders ahead, skinning animals they had just killed. We approached with our weapons drawn, which was responded to accordingly. The raiders fired at us the moment they saw us. Well, that was great. When fighting, your followers' positions are critical. Only the first unit in each row can attack and be attacked. It is in frontline position and marked with three spikes. Units that you want to protect should be in the back, while those that you want to do damage with should be in the front line. Make clever use of the obstacles already present. Yes, I understand. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, in Duelist, back when I played, it was like smart strategy to always like shuffle one card every turn.
that was that was usually like just a given so i assume the same is true for this one but i'm not really sure what i would shuffle this all seems pretty good okay we're just gonna get a powerhouse in there and then we're gonna buff it and then we're just gonna kill the leader in one shot that's exactly what's gonna happen easy peasy lemon squeezy and we get bread and plant fibers for it what's not to like the dead bodies of our enemies littered the area okay the village was built along the banks of a small creek the shadows of a few of large baja trees covered the wooden houses the walls were brightly colored and the inhabitants thoroughly armed they had noticed us and carefully awaited our approach let's uh appease them we approached them with open arms presenting a small offering we were requested their hospitality we are weary from our travels and have beautiful and useful things for trade after more friendly gestures and words they allowed us to enter the village the sun was setting so we gathered around the fires a young group of hunters from the village joined us they told wild tales of marauding rusters in the plains devouring everything in their path okay i guess we'll do this welcome my prophet here you can see all the cargo our convoy is carrying if we are low on hope then this is where you share luxury items with the convoy we have some luxury items that you may want to share with the convoy this increases the convoy's hope simply select the item and then select the share button in the lower right sharing luxury items also grants a passive effect for the next combat only one such effect can be active at a time okay so there'd be no reason not to share you've just shared a luxury item with the convoy this increases your followers hope it also grants a temporary status effect you'll be active only for the next battle be aware that if you share multiple luxury items in short succession only the most recent status effect will be active right right okay you can also buy st oh space plate what okay so batteries are the currency ballistic shield gain four armor doing something and you start with two armor okay saw blade okay that sounds pretty cool flash sleeve you start with two armor butcher's glee when the last enemy unit is destroyed regain one energy two turns each battle okay when you scrap a card a random attack card in your hand gains plus one damage oh, nice all right well i want to buy this saw blade let's read more about it profit here you can find everything you need to know about this piece of equipment if the item is within our cargo stores you can also dismantle it here this will add the items card to your leader deck and destroy the item oh oh that's interesting is that yeah okay i don't know the limits of this but since you probably can't have unlimited weapons equipped dismantling to get some nice little cards pretty cool um now i want to sell these okay now we're done and i need to equip yep two different kinds of items tools and gear tools provide active powers will gear grant passive effects to equip an item, simply select the empty slots on the left side. You need more slots. Yep. Yep. Okay. Saw blade. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, let's move on to the crossroads. 
The sharp tones of a signal whistle interrupted an otherwise perfectly peaceful afternoon. The outrider who had sounded that alarm was riding back to the camp, pursued by a gang of feral attackers armed with with with, with spears and guns. Uh, well, we can't scare them off because you'd have to have a crazy amount of people. So, let's fight. Prophet, you have a tool equipped, which gives you access to an active power during combat. The power costs no energy, but can only be used once each combat. That's what I figured. You can also only use one power each turn, as using one exhaust your leader until your next turn. Okay, and that passive, or that uh, temporary effect I got, gave me this makeshift beam trap. Three health. When it's killed, deal two damage to all targets in the opposing row. That's pretty good. Um, let's go with this. Okay. And maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, let's swap out this. Okay. Not incredible. <clears throat> okay now i need to know okay so spells or whatever bypass taunt which is good and we're gonna buff this guy kill this and move him and we'll buff him and let's swap out um swap out this okay barrier next time this unit would take damage remove the barrier and set okay divine shield we have a random friendly follower plus three Well, um, this is really good. <laughs> um, I don't want to have a unit die. So you can either swap or use the, okay. I understand. Uh, if I were to guess, I would say overwhelming, uh, any excess damage to a target carries over to the leader. Yep, that's what it is. Well, this sucks. Okay. I mean, I have lethal, but uh, one of them's gonna end the battle more injured. I, I guess, okay. Uh, minus two health for the profit, what? We're doing what? The dead bodies of our enemies litter the area. Yeah, yeah. And go to this township where I could get ferals to join my group. Uh, there's a feral camp. Good rewards, but well defended. Or we can just go to more crossroads. All right, let's try and get some new peeps. Oh, 
recruit followers. Here you go. They cost batteries. <laughs> of course they do. Look at this. Th oh my gosh. Six cost five, six. But when he dies, he summons three, two, ones. That's pretty good. That's why do some of them have a lower number? I mean, this is really good. This is a two cost three, three. Oh, he's wounded. Is that why? Because he's wounded? Is he supposed to be a 3-4? That would be even more nuts. I'm gonna buy him. Um, now, a sniper can attack from anywhere. And this has poison, so it'll kill anything it damages. That's really good. Now, what I don't understand is why this costs seven and this costs nine. The only difference I see is this word at the bottom. But I don't know anything to tell you why it would. Why is this better? I don't know. And I'm going to get this chieftain. There we go. Done. So let me put those in the pile. Some of your followers have been wounded. This happens whenever a follower is destroyed in combat, but can also be caused by events. You can see the wounds in the red slashes that appear on top of their portrait and on the red bar on the right side. If a follower has taken their second wound, then they are lost forever. Make sure to keep an eye on your wounds and take good care of your people. To heal your wounded followers, look for safe places on the map where you can rest and treat your wounds. Also note that wounded followers with more than one health enter play with one damage, but have their cost reduced by one. Oh, that's that explains it. Um, which is what's going on with the shepherd. So if he gets healed, he'll probably become a three cost three four. But he's almost. All maybe better is a two cost three three. We can go to the Union Dam. We woke up in the night, hearing a wild commotion in the dark. The night guard has caught a starving young man from the hill tribes in the process of sneaking up to our camp. Perva grabbed our prisoner by the hair and hissed. We can't let him go. He will go to his people and they'll come after us. Ah, we're nice people. The young scout, barely more than a child, was thankful and promised us some valuables in exchange for our mercy. I will lead you to my people. They will trade with you if they see just how merciful you are. Please let me live. Follow him. We agreed with his suggestion and went with him. After a short march, we reached a clearing. The scout whistled and a band of armed tribesmen emerged and rushed towards us. We cursed our naivety, naivete and drew our weapons. We calmed them down, explained that we wished them no harm, and returned their child. As thanks, they offered us some of their food. Hey, we got some nice meat. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Our path passed by a large dam that blocked the entire valley. It was heavily decorated with the flags and ornaments of the Union. A well-maintained road led to the dam, but there was a checkpoint with fierce-looking soldiers guarding it. So I could attack them, of course. I could bribe them with three of my batteries, or I could let Gulab talk. Oh, that's his name? That's their name? Why would one guy... I don't... The sergeant gave us a firm look and then waved us through. Okay, that was good. Um... The dam or the powerhouse? Ooh, the powerhouse. We entered a large hall where workers were busy cutting machinery apart, obviously harvesting the scrap metal. A scrawny union official greeted us. Welcome, comrades. Maybe your crew can do some work for us. We always need hands to do some heavy lifting. Or are you more interested in using those weapons? We do need some extra guards right now. So, we can sign up for guard duty, which is one day, two food, and one hope. Or you can take on some work. Three days, six food, three hope. If we had a lot more people, we could really get to it, but we'll take on some work. We contributed to the work 
for the rest of the day. It was hard work breaking down the machines, especially with the dam rusting and leaking around us. We could hear many of the workers talking among themselves, unhappy with the change in leadership. Even some of the guards were whispering their worries, especially since a few of them had just been caught speaking too openly and had been removed from the site. Luckily, that also meant there were fewer guards around. We got fruits, vegetables, and batteries. Hell yeah. I could let Ren steal some valuables. That's his name, apparently. It's doable. <laughs> okay. Ren tried sneaking some valuable metals aside for us to pick up later when one of the overseers let out a loud whistle. The whip hit Ren square in the face. Blinded and stumbling, Ren's next move was a sudden fall into the nearby machine, punctuated by the sound of vertebrae crushing under a pneumatic press. The attempt had cost Ren their life and us our wages. We were forced to work the rest of the day for no payment. Fuck. I mean, if you're going to tell me it's doable, I'm going to listen to you. you. This was on you. You've earned enough experience points to level up. You will earn experience points whenever you win a combat and sometimes even during events on the road. Okay. Uh, level up to increase your maximum health and learn a new card. Cost 10 batteries. Okay, why wouldn't... Oh, fuck. Well, well what's the difference then? Why wouldn't you just show me three cards? Like, I don't... Okay. Um, so they're all leader cards, of course. Blind Rage, Target Follower gains plus four attack, minus two health. Now that could also work as an attack card in a pinch. If, if you can do it on a... It doesn't say friendly. It just says any follower. I assume. Uh, Merciless, destroy all followers with attack 3 or less. That would probably be pretty bad for me. Or deal 2 damage to all enemy followers for every refreshed follower on your side. Exhaust all your followers. Uh, I'll probably take Blind Rage. You've just increased your level profit. This adds the selected card to your leader deck. Whenever you level up, you also increase your maximum health and you gain focus points. These are used to trim your leader deck. Removing cards that are not useful or strong enough is helpful because it will improve the chance you draw the cards you want. Okay. Okay. So... Here you can edit your leader deck by spending one focus point to remove a card from your leader deck. Be aware that cards are removed permanently and that there is a minimum deck size you cannot fall below. I want to get rid of one of these static charges because I don't like it. Done. You can't stop me. Go check out the dam. In front of the dam, a crowd is, had gathered in front of a small stage where the head of a committee was apparently giving a speech. As we stepped closer, we realized that this was some sort of trial. A group of hardy people seemed to have been accused of treason. They were held in chains and guarded by Union soldiers. The head of the committee was just about to pass his verdict. For spreading false news against the Union and harboring criminal thoughts, I sentence you to death by hanging. We gotta intervene in that. The official continued, ideas can be dangerous. We will not let our enemies have weapons, so why should we let them have ideas? Holy fuck. There was no way we could allow them to execute these people for whatever different beliefs that they held. I gave a sign, and then we engaged the Union soldiers in combat. Here we go. Nice. Okay, they don't seem to be too strong. We got these spore pods. Deal four damage to the leader on this side. Oh, you're fucked. Oh, so fucked. Holy shit. Destroy target follower construct. I didn't know I had that. Hmm. 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 Well. Um. I mean, mm. 
Yeah, mm, okay. I, I don't see a situation in which this guy doesn't die. So we got that going for us. I... Mm. The thing with this is like... Why wouldn't I just attack the leader? Oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Whenever this follower attacks, your leader gains two armor. Well, that's unacceptable. We're gonna butcher this guy. Um, then we are going to... Come out with something bigger than that. Okay. But, unfortunately, I have a neural shiv. Get fucked. Actually, I'll kill this thing. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> I would have gotten blessed, wouldn't I? Shit, I forgot about that. I tried to be cool. Um, I got meditation beads. Equipment. When a friendly unit is healed, it gains plus one, plus one. Or I can dismantle it for this restore card. And for some reason, I lost five health. After the fight, we freed the convicts from their chains. They had no other place to go except to join us. We took a few supplies and then swiftly returned to the caravan. All right, we got three slaves. These slaves can kick ass. One of them's a fucking general. That's like a uh, gladiator. This guy is Maximus Decimus Meridius. That's good. Dude, that's really good. This is like Stormwind Champion on steroids. That's awesome. Um, Also pretty good. Putting some taunt on a tree. That's good. These guys are great. Now we're doing it. So did this guy just oh, he, he he just died like full stop he died <laughs> damn it okay let's go to this crossroad where we can get some food even though i have a lot of food we arrived at the shores of a scenic lake with crystal clear waters the lush forest surrounding it seemed like a good opportunity to forge uh let's let chitrabanu the chieftain lead one of the children discovered a gigantic field of even berries. We spent hours harvesting the small nourishing fruits, adding a substantial amount to our supplies. It certainly did. Holy shit. A little off the road, we spotted a creek with clear water and bordered by lush fields with filled with berries. Filed with berries. We took as much as we could carry. Dude, we have so much food. Mm, yeah, mm, okay. Did I actually... I didn't actually rest. Right? I thought it said I rested, but I don't think I actually rested. Let's equip that. I mean, isn't this a peaceful spot? Can't we eat a bunch of this food? Hmm. Well, let's head into this Blue Devil camp. Fierce gunfire erupted along our flanks. We dove for cover and returned fire, willing to stop the unknown aggressors with whatever it took. Okay. I think we shall... Yeah, there's a lot of rocks. That sucks.
And he's got a sniper. I'm gonna have to stab it. I think that's my best move. Let's get the raider in there. Raiders lead the way. And... Oh, you can do that. Interesting. Oh, oh, oh this burst fire. Oh, 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 it's gonna be good. Get fucked. That's, that's wreckage. Um, okay. I mean, we just sort of wail on him. I think you're looking for a taunt. But you don't have a taunt. In which case... Get fucked! Okay, I lost seven health for reasons I don't understand. But I got a recon drone. When an enemy unit moves, that unit takes one damage. Or I can take this hide, which is like shadow step. Hmm. I don't know how often enemy units move. The dead bodies of our enemies littered the area. I think you just take damage for the sake of taking damage. Hmm. Damn. I could take, like, this bloodlust, but they all take a damage. But I guess that could be good. I get an Oh, I got another gear slot. Nice. So we have both. We got both. Could also trim something. What would I trim? Probably still this static chart. I just don't like it. Maybe I'm dumb. Possibly, yes, I'm dumb. Uh, all right, let's move on. So far, so good. Thick mists were hovering over the foul waters of the swamp, so we moved forward carefully. Then we heard an unseen voice addressing us from nearby, loudly demanding our surrender. We answered this demand accordingly, by opening up a barrage of weapons fire into the mist. Yes, indeed. Okay, and we got this barrel. Deal two damage to neighboring targets. Okay, fortunately it's in the back, so it's not the end of the world. Let us swap out the general. Let us draw a card. Hmm... Play this big boy. He's blessed. He's blessed, babe. Robust. If unit would be killed through damage and can be moved back one tile, it will be moved and healed back up to one health instead. Damn. That's pretty good. Why did this take... What happened to this? Where's the combat log? In fact, target follower suffers minus two attack. Shit. Okay. Um. Then I'm gonna shoot this. And I'm gonna play this initiate gulab. Not really much point in me killing this thing. Okay, so that's gonna get sorted. That was a good purchase, I like that. 
Um, God, why is the art for this so weird? This is like one of the developers or something. Let me think. This would be... This would be death. Right? Okay. Lost another four health. But, that's them's the breaks. Okay, spaceport. The next milestone on our travels. Defended by Scion Bloodhand. It's a good D&D character name. With the last rays of the setting sun, we arrived at a circle of old wagons that were surrounded by piles of bottles and empty plastic barrels. Smoke was rising from one of the wagons, customized to add an array of chimneys. A seedy-looking old man with a bottle in his hand greeted us with a toothless smile, offering us his homebrew spirits. Um, we could refuse. Politely. We could buy some, or we could just fuck over all of his shit. Why would we do that? I'm gonna purchase some. We decided to lift the mood in the caravan by purchasing some of the man's bootlegged alcohol. For a handful of batteries, we received a crate of bottles filled with a milky, pungent liquor. When we made camp later in the day, we passed around a few bottles. The milky substance had a strong taste, but was potent enough to create a relaxed atmosphere. We complimented the old man on his creation and drank through half of the crate in an evening, full of drinking, laughter, and very much needed joy. Nice. My dreams. My god told me you would come here. The lone figure sitting at the side of the road spoke without moving. The deep god knows of the stars, of their lies. She stood up, facing us, but her eyes were lost in the distance. Behind her, rusters and warriors hidden in the underbrush rose with her. Your message needs to be deleted. Oh, shit. I only have 14 health. So, they out... She outweighs me here. Meaning that I'm going to have to be a bit careful. Okay, let's shuffle. Um, let's Hermit and Shepherd. Let's have a strong start here. Now, she has an effect as well. I will read it to you in a second. Just in a, in a second. Whenever, you know. Okay. Whenever a friendly follower deals damage to the enemy leader, deal two damage to the enemy leader. Oh, God. It's like amplified. Jesus. So when this thing dies, it's going to deal one damage to something on my side of the board. This has stealth, which sucks. Um, I'm going to bolster this dude. That wasn't the actual name of the card. Was it? it was Blessed Strand. I just used the word bolster as a, as a verb. Um, I'm going to swap this. I kill this. Okay, fine. Uh, and then I'm gonna play this. I know this dude's gonna go for my face, and that's gonna be four damage. Oh, and this has charge. If that goes to the face as well, things could get complicated. Of course. This doesn't have, oh God, it has unlimited charges. Oh, God. Okay. Why did he try and pull that? I don't know. Um, I'm going to give some taunt. Kill this. Kill this. I'm gonna sword this. Oh god. It's looking pretty bad. 
Holy shit. Lost one of our followers. They've been removed from the combat, but don't worry, they're not completely gone. They've only suffered a wound. Yeah, I mean, it's the least of my problems. Yeah, I know about attacking the fucking enemy leader. Don't tell me how to play the game. Okay, there's really no situation. Neural Shiv. That would let me keep a unit. It would be my whole turn. That would let me keep everything intact. I mean, all he needs is like one more charge and I'm screwed. She. And there it is. With our profit fallen in combat, we were at the mercy of our attackers. They wreaked havoc through the convoy, taking what they wanted while their followers scattered to escape certain death. A few regrouped and decided to march on, but without the vision and power of the Prophet, there was little hope. It wasn't long before the stragglers perished or abandoned the path. Jesus, that's like, you're dead, your friends are dead, <laughs> your, your whole family's been skinned alive. Um, okay. Well, I don't... Okay. And you can change the difficulty, which I don't know what it affects. There's also daily challenges. Now, what if I just... Okay. Oh. Oh, look at this stuff going on. You unlock different... Look at this guy. All right, so you unlock different characters. That's cool. And there's different convoys. That's cool. Look at all this content. See, this is why you wait till it comes out of early access. Um. All right. I think that'll about do us. Um, well, I'm absolutely going to keep playing. Uh, it seems very cool so far. The art style, I'm not enamored with. It's a little rough for my taste, but I think the gameplay is really cool. A lot of this stuff is familiar, um, but that gives you a good foundation, a very familiar foundation to work off of. Uh, and the, the differences and the, really the focus on just a solid single player experience is really nice. Cause I don't really like playing online with other people. I don't like people. So the single player experience here seems pretty fleshed out and uh, I'm very interested to keep going and actually make it to the end. It's somewhat reminiscent of it's basically, I guess, it's like Duelist combined with Slay the Spire. I think is how I'm viewing this. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Or maybe... Um, what was that other game that uh, Mojang put out? Scrolls. Maybe a bit of Scrolls thrown in there. <sighs> it's cool. I recommend it. Uh, like I said, it just came out. Price was like 20 two dollars or 23 dollars if you're living in the america place and i guess that's about it cool stuff my name is mang this has been nowhere profit see you find folks around